everybody so here is the story time of what happened at the movie theater on tuesday so we decided to go see the new godzilla x kong the new empire movie on tuesday now i have been dying to see this movie and i am both a godzilla and king kong fan like i love them both i can't choose but where i live normally tickets are anywhere from $12 to $15.50, but on Tuesdays, it's $7. It's like matinee Tuesday. So I was like, let's go see a Tuesday. It's cheap. So once we purchased our tickets and we went to the con concession stand and we bought food, snacks, drinks, we walk into the theater and we decided since it was empty that we would sit all the way at the top. So we sat in the second row to last and we sat right in the middle and it was my son, myself, my daughter, and then my boyfriend, their father. And then the guy and his girlfriend, they were sitting in the last row right behind us. So it was my son and then his girlfriend sat right behind him, like right above him. And then it was me and then the guy sat right above me. So 15 minutes into the movie, this guy leans over and he says to me, hey something something now i don't remember what he said in the beginning but he said hey something something can you please turn down the brightness so i leaned over to my son's ipad and i turned the brightness all the way down now the brightness was halfway down i just went ahead and turned it all the way down you know to be respectful but what i did notice was while i was turning down the brightness on my son's ipad this guy was like leaned over watching me like he was watching me to make sure that i turned the brightness down and once i turned the brightness down on my son's ipad he leaned back into his seat and i was like what a weirdo now my son is super quiet well behaved he's not bothering anybody the sound was on mute like i turned the volume down on his ipad way before we walked into the theater so his so the sound was off the brightness was turned down all the way down my son was sitting in his chair super quiet he was so quiet that you wouldn't have noticed that he was like he was there and he was just playing a game he was playing a game minding his business so 15 minutes later, this guy leans over again and says to me while raising his voice, hey, come on, tell your kid to turn that off. And I looked at him and I was like, and I like turned my head and I was like, yeah, no effing problem. I didn't tell my son anything. I did not tell my son to get up and switch seats with any of us. I didn't even take his iPad away. I was like, huh, I'm going to stand my ground. What I did do was I got up and I walked over to my boyfriend. And when that guy saw that I got up and I walked over to my boyfriend and I said to my boyfriend, I need you to switch seats with me. Can you please go sit next to your son? Can we switch seats? That guy is bothering me. And he saw that my, that my boyfriend got up and went and sat down next to our son he was quiet he got really really quiet and silent so two minutes later i had to use the bathroom and i asked my daughter if she needed to use the bathroom because i was going to the bathroom so my daughter and i we went to the bathroom after we were done using the bathroom we walked back to the theater now i told my my daughter once we got in the theater i said go sit next to your father I am going to go sit next to this guy because I want to know what the problem is. I want to know what is going on. Like, I want to see if the iPad is really a problem. Like, I want to see what he's seeing. I wanted to investigate. So I sat next to this guy. Well, I sat one seat over, but it was his girlfriend, him, an empty seat, and then me. And I put both armrests down. And I put my hand like this and I looked at him like that. I rolled my eyes and then I moved my head like that. That guy did not say one word to me. He stood extremely quiet. He was silent. So sure enough, I was sitting there and the iPad wasn't a problem. Like I said, 
The sound was completely muted and turned off even before we entered the theater and the brightness was turned all the ways down. Like you couldn't even see the iPad. You couldn't even see it. You didn't even notice it. And like I said, my son was just sitting there not bothering anybody playing his game. So I continued to watch the movie in peace and quiet and he left us alone. And I could tell that he was really uncomfortable. But at that point, I was like, if he has anything else to say, he can lean over and say it to my boyfriend. And if he wants to say something to me, he can say it to my face. My face was right there. There was not going to be any leaning over to tell me anything. If he wanted to say something, my face was right there. And the best part about that was um, it was my son, my boyfriend, and my daughter. And then my, my boyfriend was sitting right in front of him. So if he said anything to me, I was going to react and then my boyfriend was right there to hear and see everything that was about to go down just in case. Now what I did catch him do like five minutes before the movie was over was he leaned like a little forward to look at my son's iPad. So he was looking, going out of his way to look at my son's iPad. And when he did that, I leaned in with him. And when he saw that I leaned in with him, he like leaned back into his seat. So as soon as the movie was finished, I got up and I went back to my family and we started talking about whether we liked the movie or not. And I could tell that this guy was really, really bothered because the from, from the moment that I got up, he kept looking over at me with his eyes and he kept giving me like really, really dirty looks, like angry looks, dirty looks. He just kept giving me looks. And I was standing right next to my boyfriend and I looked up at him and I went like this and I rolled my eyes and I was like, yeah, stupid people always got something to say. It's always the stupid ones. And this guy did not say anything to me. He did not say anything to me. He stood really, really quiet. And I grabbed my son by the hand and we walked out of the theater and that was that. Guys, let me tell you. It took everything in me, and I mean everything in me, to not jump out of my seat and yell back at this guy and cause a scene and a show and tell him that I don't have to tell my son anything and that I wasn't going to tell my son anything and that if the iPad was an issue, he, he could have moved. Him and his girlfriend could have gotten up and moved over a couple of seats. They were sitting in the last row. That whole row was empty. The seats to his right were, uh, were empty, and the seats to um, his left were empty. So him and his girlfriend could have moved their butts and moved over a couple of seats. He lost me at tell your kid. I don't got to tell my kid nothing. I don't know if he was trying to be a tough guy, but I hate to break it to him. He was being a punk A-S-S-B-I-T-C-H. That's not being tough, picking on a eight on a eight-year-old and his mother trying to bully, trying to bully us. That's not tough because as soon as I walked over to my, because I, I did not tell my kid to move. My son sat right there and continued to play on, to continue to play on his iPad. The moment I got up and I walked over to my boyfriend and my boyfriend got up because he, he saw my boyfriend get up and he went and sat down next to our son and his own father didn't even tell him to put away the iPad. He, he was like, play with your iPad. That man stood quiet for the rest of the movie. He was silent and he left us alone. Not once did he lean over to say anything. And when I sat right next to him, he did not he didn't even look at me. His he he kept his eyes to the screen. So you're not tough. I don't know if he was trying to show off to his girlfriend, but <laughs> you are not tough. But I'm proud of myself. And even like towards the end, like after the movie. And he was super bothered and he just kept looking over at me and giving me looks. Like even then he stood quiet. Like he stood quiet. His mouth was not moving. His mouth was not doing this. His mouth was this. Like his girlfriend must have been like, oh, you wanted to pick on her and her kid. But the minute her boyfriend got up, you got you had nothing to say. You sat there and watched the movie. Did and when I like I said, when I sat next to him, this man did not look at me. Not once. That man did not look at me, not once. He watched the movie. His eyes were looking at the screen the whole entire time. Not once did he turn his head to look at me. 
So, yeah, that's my story time. Uh, yeah, it was about to go down at the theater. But, you know, I wanted to be respectful of everybody else. And, you know, I didn't want to ruin it for, you know, the people that were in the theater. There was pretty much nobody. But the people that were there, I didn't want to, like take the focus away from the movie and put it on us like I didn't want to ruin it for them so I sent my message to him without having to say anything and he got the message because he left us alone he left us alone once my boyfriend sat down next to our son he left us alone and that was the end of that so mwah.